Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my save. As you can see here, see here we're at late. We have a space station. This is a refueling and habitation station. I put in orbit at late. I have uh, a couple uh, space plane down there with a who's I don't know which Kerbal is down there, but yeah, we have him down there. Anyways, this is gonna be a new series on my channel. I'm gonna record gameplay of the missions I do in my save and upload them to YouTube. Um, I think it could be pretty entertaining. This is the first time I'm doing this, so bear with me here. We're gonna get better at this eventually. So yeah, I delivered, I built this space station and then I delivered the shuttles here individually. I brought them, two of them on this rocket and I separated one and connected it to the station. So now I'm gonna bring this one down to the surface next to the Kerbal. Next to my, uh, the other uh, plane I have there. I have another plane, but it can't go into space. These ones can go into space. These ones are SSDOs. They can't go back into orbit, but I have uh, another C plane down there. So this is going to be used as a, like a uh, transfer system. So I can like go from the surface to the station and back and they can refuel anywhere. So yeah. So here we are getting ready for re-entry now. I'm gonna put away all the things that can break off during re-entry, do your entry eating and stuff, and we're gonna jump into the atmosphere. Hopefully this goes well.
you guys could see, things did not go according to plan. It started overheating, so I decided to pull the air brakes, but I forgot the air brakes also don't have a high temperature ceiling, so they burnt off and they threw the plane off balance and it started wailing. And then we got too much lift on the left wing and then it flipped and then everything went to shit. This happened a couple more times until we finally nailed it in the end. So let's keep trying. It wasn't pretty, but we're through the hard part now. We're tumbling a bit now. It's because there's no atmosphere. There's no atmosphere up here, so we don't have uh, any aerodynamic. F Our wings don't function, so we just spin a bit until we get lower in the atmosphere. Here you can see me frantically trying to check if uh, the plane is off balance but I designed it in a way that it should never go off balance even when it's empty it should still have balance so it won't flip I also have the wrong engines enabled I think I'm gonna start enabling the air breathing jets now
flying around, around a bit now looking for a nice place to put the plane down close to the Kerbo so that I can walk to it later. I don't have another, another time because there's no pilots in this craft right now. It's being remote controlled via the space station so I have a very limited time window. Once that the space station crosses the horizon, this plane turns to a brick. So I gotta put it down quick. Gotta find a way to do it. Touchdown! Finally made it down. It was a bit hard landing in the nighttime. I can't see the ground that well, but luckily enough, Leith has this glowing stuff on its shores, so I could still tell where the ground was. So I just kind of winged it, and it worked out. Alton Kermanier has to walk about 360 meters now to the craft. It's a long walk, especially with those little Kerbal legs. It's gonna take him a while to get there. Thank you for watching guys, if you enjoyed don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want more.